Coming up on this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, Bob heads to Lake Marion in South Carolina, which is part of the Santee Cooper Lake System. Joining Bob will be guide Ricky Droz, whose family has guided on Santee for over 40 years. Also on this week's Sportsman's Table, we feature a South Carolina certified grouper taco recipe. All this and a whole lot more, and it all begins right now. We shot this hard. Oh, look at that. Wow, let me hold that thing. Nice. Get him, Ricky. Got him hooked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Man. Uh, you know, you, you do well styling and profiling on that thing, <laughs> I'm, huh? I'm learning. Yeah. You, you're a good teacher. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, now, I don't have a net in here, so we'll just, you get him over here and I'll get him up first. All right. How about that? Mm. All right, Santee Stripe. Oh, yeah. Uh, come here now. I'm just going to, we're going to take your picture. We're just going to take your picture. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Don't do that because I don't want my hook <laughs> in my hand. Mm -mm. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Ah, there we go. We got it. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, there. Yeah. Nicely done, my friend. Man, that that's that's good start right there. All right, they got got a better right, fish. I got it. Well, we're gonna let this one go. <laughs> let me get him. Woohoo! Oh, that's on the free line, Ricky. Yes, sir. Mm. Well, folks, welcome to our show this week here on Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine. I have the distinct pleasure of having probably, if not the premier guide, the legacy guide on Santee, Mr. Ricky Droz with us, okay? And Ricky and his, his uncles, his dad, and I will tell you, they are just renowned guides here on Santee, and we are really very appreciative of having the opportunity to have him be on our show this week. He's already pulled in one. Now, I tell you what, Ricky. Yes. I, I really don't. Uh oh. That's all right. It's just got that. You got it? Okay. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> um, now, yeah, and I don't mind dating this thing, because uh, to be honest with you, it's December in South Carolina, and it's nice. It is it, hot. It, yeah, it is. I'm telling you. It is hot. So, you know, you fish. 200 days a year. Right. I mean, of course, you've got all kinds of things, okay? I, I know you <laughs> yes, got two kids in college. I huh? do. I you do. know, so you, you ain't got any choice. That's I know the exactly deal, right. Huh? We've got to work. <laughs> Thank goodness I already got mine out. But oh, let's mercy. tell everybody, let's, let's spend just a couple of minutes while I'm, I'm okay. going to let this fish dance a little bit. Everybody's going to say, Redford, will you dial it? Then? <laughs> but I, I just, you know, I really love striper fishing, okay? Um, how exciting is it for you to guide down here with these stripers that are coming back on Santee? Striper fishing has gotten really good in the last couple of years. Um, we've had some good size limits as far as uh, over the past few years of getting the fish back to where they were years ago. Yeah. Catching some really nice fish now, starting to, uh, with those size limits. So they have helped tremendous amount. Um, Caught, uh, caught some really pretty fish this week, so hopefully it'll continue <laughs> if the weather will cooperate. <laughs> Listen, I tell you, the weather's awesome. It really is awesome, huh? Oh, there he comes. Okay. There he comes. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. 
I tell you, they're difficult little hummers this morning. You know, we just passed over a bait ball and they just decided to hit. That's correct. You know? Yeah, so, the, the okay. bait, uh, that's what we're doing now is hunting the big schools of bait and fishing around those schools of bait. Yeah, and tell everybody, I mean, we're rigged up. It's not rocket science. I mean, uh, of course, we've yeah. got Abu Garcia, um, and striper rods here with the ugly stick. Right. But I tell you what, that is a picture moment on that fish. I gotta, let me get him up there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm. Now that fish is a good, what, 20? 20, 20 what, 26 inches. maybe, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe with the tip fish tail. Of course. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a good fat striper right, right there. Right, right. You done good, okay. Well, thank you. Man, here it is, it's foggy. No, the fish did good. The fish did good, well, you did too, man. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. We let him right. go, we'll catch more. Stay tuned. When we come back from commercial break, we'll have more striper fishing from Santee Cooper. South Carolina's Santee Cooper country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. In the wild, nature dictates that when it's time to eat, animals will instinctively find and devour the meal that satisfies them most. In the water, Berkeley Powerbait's scientifically proven formula triggers the natural predatory instinct in bass. Now available in a plethora of shapes, sizes, and colors. Berkeley Powerbait. Fish bite and won't let go. That's another destination wrap for me. It's time for me to head home to the annual 2020 Palmetto Sportsman's Classic, March 27th through 29 at the State Fairgrounds in Columbia, South Carolina. Don't miss South Carolina's premier hunting, fishing, and outdoor sporting show. Plenty of food, shopping, wildlife exhibits, and special events for the entire family. Make sure you mark your calendars for the Palmetto Sportsman's Classic, March 27th through the 29th. I'll see you there. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Life's just better outdoors. By Berkeley. Catch more fish with Berkeley fishing products. By Southern Woods Plantation, offering the best in Southern comfort in quail hunting. And by Santee Cooper Country, discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. Let's see my knee dip. Let's do a switch here. <laughs> oh, that one's up. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Listen, this one here is a lively Hummer. Oh. Mm -hmm -hmm. Listen, you know what is so enjoyable? To see these stripers come back on Santee. Right. Look, folks, listen, you need to pay attention to this because what was on Santee is no more. And this guy can show you the way, okay? Listen. 60 years of family history guiding on this lake. T talk to me while I'm reeling this fish in. Right, my, my family moved here, my granddaddy moved to, to the lake in 1948 mm. and opened up a, a store, bait and tackle store called Joe's Place. <laughs> Joe's Place, wow. Joe's Place, and so <laughs> he started guiding, renting boats and uh, running that and my father and two brothers grew up here guiding so it's been a family tradition oh my goodness so i'm you. third generation wow from uh and you're not that old man i'm not that you old be, i tell you it's a good water down here on santee you ain't even got it, hardly no uh, gray hair oh but, my uh, goodness i should have some gray hair <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness well listen i, I will tell you 
years ago this was such a great fishery. It was. And then it kind of took a decline. Let's just be honest about right. it. And then the DNR and all of the conservationists back here have, have done such great work to bring back the fishing in this, in this lake. Right. Both the upper and the lower lake. Mm. The, so the size limits have done really well yeah. uh, on on the fish, and, and we have we have a lot of fish, a lot of small fish, uh, in the past few years. Man, that was caught on a free line back there too. Mm. Okay, <laughs> you know he ain't done yet. That is a good looking striper. Mm. Wow. Wow, Ricky, I'm so glad you talked me into coming this morning, okay? <laughs> Even though it's 80 degrees in the wintertime. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> mm. well, I tell you what, man, that one I tried to get out of there a while ago, he just wasn't having it. There he you doesn't got want it. to open his mouth. <laughs> he just wasn't having it. Oh, man. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Uh, let me get over here and then I'll get him from you. Show everybody this beautiful Santee striper. Wow. Now that one, gosh, that one almost go to what, 26, 28? Right. Maybe. Good fat fish. Listen, they are back, folks. Santee, it's here, okay? Log on to Bob's Top 16. Come on down. We'll have Ricky on there. If you want to fish with him, I right, tell him how to get a hold of you now. Give him a number. Uh, my number is 803. 460-7717. Please put that in your dial a prayer because I'm telling you, you want to come fishing on Santee, this is the guy to take you right there. All right, let's put this one back in here. We catch some more, bro. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go under this one right here. All right, here, let me get it out of the way. Oh, yeah. you got it? Okay. How about the back one? He going under all of those. Okay, all right, you set. Mm. Ah, he's that, that's a nice hit right there now. He's taking some line? Yeah. Oh. Well, listen, while you're doing all the work, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about uh, this is a unique fish now to Santee. Um, not in all the lakes that they stock and put and take, but this one they reproduce here. That's correct. Um, they go up uh, all the way to Columbia and reproduce. They spawn there and uh, their eggs float and come down the river. And so we do have natural reproduction Oh wow! for stripers here. Now, does DNR still supplement? They do occasionally uh, stock a few fish. Uh, it's not every year, but they do they do stock some from okay. time to time. So, but a lot of ours are just natural reproduced fish. Well, they just kind of help fine tune. Now, look at the, I think yeah, he's got around that. Do we got it wrapped? He Hang is. On. Let me see if I can get it out of there. Where am I? I'm over. Are we good? Yep, got it now. One of them. All right. Go ahead, bring him in. Let me see if I can get this thing off. I'm just here. taking my time. He's just <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a nice a nice striper. At least at least he's giving you a head nod that That's he is. That's exactly right. Yeah. Man. Get him up here. Uh, we'll see if we can get him. Oh yeah. Oh. Tell you what, let me move this one up here. In some strategery here. Yeah, there we go. Come here. We're just going to take your picture. That's all we're going to do. That's all we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Wow. Come on. Come on. Ah, there we go. Mm, now, look, he wasn't coming off there either. He had that thing. Mm. Okay. There's your fish. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I'll let you hold it for everybody. Man, now that one's the biggest of the day. Look at there. Woo-hoo. Mm, mm, mm. Beautiful fish. Yes, they are. And I tell you, they've got some good weight to them. Look at that. Now, that one's, that one's a good 26, yeah. 28 inch maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Nice fish. Man, Ricky Droz right there. Droz Guide Server, Santee. It's back, brother. It's back. It is back. All right. Ha! Well, folks, listen. I have a special guest today and I want him to talk about how we got where we are with the stripers coming back that you saw us catch today and none other than Buddy Jennings, the former director of the South Carolina Parks, Rec and Tourism. We're going to talk about the legislation that got us where we are today and just how important it's been. Buddy, I want to thank you for all you do for the, for the resources of this state, yeah. but tell me, in 2014, a big change happened. Yeah, you know, we had lost the fisheries due to drought and a lot of other conditions, but in 2014, with the work of DNR 
and the Santee Cooper country, working with a stakeholders group across the state, we were able to come up with legislation that would help bring that fisheries back. What we ended up with was a 23 to 25 inch slot, and the striped bass grow through that slot in a matter of a year, and there's three different classes in that slot. So we are able to catch three fish in that slot limit. One can be over 26, so that if you catch a truly memorial fish, it's good to keep that one. But we close the season from June the 16th through October the 1st. All of those, plus the fact that we've had more rain and we've had more stocking, have brought this fishery back to the world-class status that it once enjoyed. Well, you know, one of the other key pieces to, I mean, Santee Cooper country has done a wonderful job down there with the tourism, but this even helps their job even more uh, to get more folks to come down there now and enjoy the lakes. Absolutely. Their job is to promote and advertise the Santee Cooper area. Mary Schreiner and her board do a great job working with the legislative delegation in that area. So I'm real proud of all the work that they've done. When we come back, we head to the sportsman's table for another great recipe from Deck 383 in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. The all-new Silverado HD adds to the legendary capability of the strongest, most advanced Silverados ever. With best-in-class camera technology and larger, more functional beds than any competitor, the only truck that can compare to a Silverado is another Silverado. Truck month is the right time to get behind the wheel of the Chevy Silverado. Now get 0% financing for 72 months plus $500 cash allowance on all Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. That's another destination wrap for me. It's time for me to head home to the annual 2020 Palmetto Sportsman's Classic, March 27 through 29 at the State Fairgrounds in Columbia, South Carolina. Don't miss South Carolina's premier hunting, fishing, and outdoor sporting show, plenty of food, shopping, wildlife exhibits, and special events for the entire family. Make sure you mark your calendars for the Palmetto Sportsman's Classic, March 27 through the 29th. I'll see you there. Florence, South Carolina is full of flavor. From fresh South Carolina seafood to South Carolina grown produce and meats, Florence is the place to find the culinary heritage of the South celebrated. Local restaurant chefs in Florence are dishing up vibrant Southern inspired meals in the PD and the only thing missing is you. Explore our city and plan your food journey to Florence, South Carolina at cityofflorence.com. Full life, full forward. We are Florence, South Carolina. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Folks, welcome to this week's Sportsman's Table. I tell you what, Carol Panagos, she's a sous chef with Strand Catering here in Myrtle's Inland and Myrtle Beach. She's got a great fish recipe for you today. And Carol, thank you for coming in. Thanks okay. for having me. Beautiful setting here in Waka Watcha Marina at Deck 383. Yes. And it's all about fish. It is. Okay, well, let's get started because I love fish. Well, mm. today we're going to be using grouper. We're going to do some beer battered fish tacos. Oh, awesome. But it's a very simple recipe, so everybody can use this. We got our grouper from a local place here in Seven Seas Fish Market. So oh, wow. They usually get it in the day. Yeah, that's right here in Merle's Inlet. It so, is. yeah, certified South Carolina exactly. right there, huh? Yeah. So, all you're going to do is you're going to take your flour, and then you're going to take a little bit of baking soda with salt and pepper. Okay. And then you can't have enough Old Bay. Ah, uh, really yeah. Go wrong. Mm. I like to use the Old Bay with the garlic in it. Yeah. And then we're going to use our Nut Brown Ale New South Beer, which is local here as well. You just pour a whole can in there. Really? Yes. No kidding. Huh. 
Well, I have to look at this beer. A New it's South Nut Brown Ale right there, folks. I'm telling you. Locally a new brewery. use for beer. That's local? It's yeah. local as well. There you go. The only brewery in South Carolina. Okay. That's certified. Exactly. And some, well, in Myrtle Beach, I should there say. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. So once you have this stirred up here, you want to have like a nice pancake batter consistency. Okay. You set that aside. And you're just going to take your fish and you're going to just dredge them in there. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So you don't even have to, to kind of pre-do it with an egg wash or anything, No, huh? everything's right in here for oh, you. Oh, my so. goodness. And then you just dredge it, and you're going to stick it right in your oil, and that's going to cook for five to seven minutes. Real simple. That, Not is, a lot of, that is easy. It is. Okay, Carol, what do we got now? Now you want to make your coleslaw. While your fish is cooking, you can quickly make your coleslaw and let that rest. Okay. You're going to use thin sliced red cabbage and thin sliced red onions. Combine those together. Oh, wow. You're going to take some thin sliced um, green onions. Okay. And then some lime zest. Throw that in there. Mm. You're going to take some olive oil. Just enough, like two tablespoons, three tablespoons. Okay. It's fine. And then you want to take a lime and you want to squeeze over it. Remember, we use the mesh screen over it, yeah. so that way you don't get your seeds inside there. Okay. And then let that settle there. And then all you're going to do is just mix it around. Wow, that and lime that, just smells it good. It does, with lime with a lemon, and then once you, you can add a little salt and pepper if you need to as yeah. well. Once you massage it with your hands, it's going to make the cabbage break down a little bit, so it won't be so crisp to it as I well. I got you. Well, I'll tell you what, let me move this plate over here, and we'll just, we're ready to roll. Okay, Carol, now what's next? We're going to take our preheated taco shell. Okay. We're going to take our cooked um, grouper, Ooh, beer yeah. batter, nice big piece there. Mm -hmm. You take your saw and put it right over top of this with the red onions and see all the color in there? That's oh, really that, nice. Yeah. And then you take a little bit of your sour cream. You can, a um, good way to spice up some sour cream or crema right. is to take a lime and squeeze in there or put some lime zest in there as well. Ah, okay. So that's another option. And then you can also take some pineapple, a little sweetness to the spice, a little pineapple salt, and then also some fresh cilantro. Oh my goodness. And there you go. Wow, that is that is fantastic. Fish, beer, Fish taco. tacos. Yes. Okay. Carol, <laughs> listen, thank you so much for You're being so a guest welcome. on the show today. And folks, I will tell you, what's fresh on your menu, check out certifiedscgrown.com and you too can have great items just like we saw today on the show. And the next time you're down in Merle's Inn, stop on by Deck 383. Come on in, enjoy this beautiful backdrop. I tell you what, fishing, it's all about that and coming in for a great meal. We'll see you right back here again next time on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy Certified South Carolina Grown Products. It's a matter of taste. Florence, South Carolina is full of flavor. From fresh South Carolina seafood to South Carolina grown produce and meats, Florence is the place to find the culinary heritage of the South celebrated. Local restaurant chefs in Florence are dishing up vibrant Southern-inspired meals in the PD, and the only thing missing is you. Explore our city and plan your food journey to Florence, South Carolina at cityofflorence.com. Full life, full forward. We are Florence, South Carolina. This reel allows you to cover more water, make more casts, giving you more opportunities to catch more fish. The new Revo Rocket, Abu Garcia for life. The all new Silverado HD adds to the legendary capability of the strongest, most advanced Silverados ever with best-in-class camera technology and larger, more functional beds than any competitor. The only truck that can compare to a Silverado is another Silverado. Truck month is the right time to get behind the wheel of the Chevy Silverado. Now get 0% financing for 72 months plus $500 cash allowance on all Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the old 96 district. Comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick counties, this region is rich in history. 
fishing, hunting, and small town flavor. Old 96 District is part of the South Carolina freshwater coast, covering over 2,000 miles of shoreline, which offer many fishing opportunities and is home to the only wild turkey museum in the world. Local businesses offer a wide variety of unique gifts and foods. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the Old 96 District of South Carolina. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. By the Old 96 District of South Carolina, come discover the unexpected wonders. By South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing your source for all your promotional product needs. And by the city of Florence, South Carolina. Florence is full life, full forward. There's one. Oh, got him, Ricky, got him. Let me rail down on him, boat. <laughs> oh, man. You know, we just came across that bait pod. That's right. Sun's come out, the fog's lifting, huh? Woo. Fish right behind that Look bait. Look at that, look at him go. Man, oh. You know, we've caught some great fish today. We have. I'm serious. Now, I know you've caught some bigger ones, and i tell you what, uh, that's okay. But what you're doing as a guide down here, and what we want to show today is, mm -hmm, okay, okay. <laughs> is, How to chase a fish around the boat. Well, you know, we, we try to play it real here. I don't want to give the false sensation that everybody's going to catch, you know, a, a 35 pound striper down here. Now, can you? You yes. bet you can. You okay? can. But what we want them to do is to come down, stay active, catch lots of fish with you. Right. And, and, and you know, Santee is back yes. from Striper. I mean, it is back. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. Well, folks, while I'm reeling this fish in, <laughs> we've had a great day on the water. Ricky, tell these folks, let me come on back down here. Tell these folks, if they want to come, again, you can go on to Bob's Top 16 on our website at bobredfern.com. Ricky's going to be on that Top 16 list. Tell everybody your phone number again, how they can come down and fish with yeah, you. It's Ricky Droz at Droz Guide Service, and my number is 803-460-7717. And folks, listen, Santee Cooper Country, this is a beautiful place to come. Again, I know I keep saying Santee, it never left, but it's really back in a big way. And our DNR and all these great folks and these conservationists like the guys that are down here have helped do this and bring these stripers back. And I will tell you, all the great work that's been done here is just awesome. And it is awesome. And that, oh, you know, I may have got the big end of this. Yeah, I believe oh, you did. Oh, man, look at that. Well, folks, listen, as I always like to say each and every week, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours, too. We'll see you right back here again next week on another great episode of Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine. Come on in here, Striper. Yeah, man, look at here. You got him, Ricky? I'm going to get him. All right, Bo, get him. Mm. He ain't. He's not giving up. Now, he's not quite ready yet. <laughs> You know, and you got to be careful too, because not only do the teeth hurt, that fin hurts too. Oh yeah! Oh my goodness! Looky there! Wow, folks! We'll see you next week on another episode. Ricky, you did good, my friend, huh? All right, all right.